Callaway suspension, and um, where does that uh, put Richard Higgins as the third? Does it put uh, Richard in as the third receiver? Well, I, th I think if you ask me, Les, I think he's been the third receiver all along, and some could even make a really good argument that he's the second best receiver on the roster. He's not a guy that's going to blow you away with speed, but he's got route nuance. He knows how to get open. He's always open in scramble drill, and his quarterback loves him, and that equals a lot of efficiency. He was super efficient last year. Per target basis, those 39 receptions and 53 targets led the Browns. He had the most touchdowns per uh, for the season at the wide receiver position, he tied with Callaway and, and Landry. And I think, I think if you look at his situation, he's perfect for being able to line up inside. He's perfect being able to line up outside when they want to move Jarvis or Odell around and do different things. He's the perfect Swiss Army knife that has a really good connection with this quarterback. Very reliable player, and he's a guy I hope the Browns are able to keep around for a long time because he's just one of those players, like like Julian Edelman type, who makes the offense better, and the Browns are, are better off for having him. Uh, Jake, who's the biggest beneficiary of the Callaway injury then, or Callaway suspension at this point? Well, I think it would have to be somebody fighting for that wide receiver six spot. If they keep six guys on the 53, maybe like Damian Ratley, who's been out with an injury for a while, if he can come back and have a good end of the preseason, he has a shot to actually make the roster. I mean, everybody's hero story, Damon Shee Giuseppe, who's, who's as great a story as I think you'll ever find in professional sports, great punt return but he has to prove that he's a functional nfl level wide receiver if he's used and i'm not sure he's there yet but if he flashes more punt return skills kick return skills against first team in the first second third quarter it's there for the taking i think those are the guys like jalen strong those those sort of players who are at the end of the wide receiver depth chart who are fighting for a spot but didn't necessarily have that opportunity and then you know first four weeks a guy has a breakout couple performances and all of a sudden antonio callaway becomes a trade target or a trade opportunity for John Dorsey. I think they really like Callaway. They like what he can do. They like his mixture from a skill point with this wide receiver group, but they don't want to have these continual nagging Josh Gordon-like problems. And I'm not saying Callaway is that. I think everybody deserves a chance to get their life on track, but he has to, you know, everyone makes mistakes, but I do think you have to show a better pattern of decision-making after mistakes. All right, Eric, 